Welcome back one and all to Trails of Cold Steel. I am Dark Seraph and last time we got uh Usus, the noble, into our party. I'll give him a Give us your blessing. My turn. And he's kind of a dick. Arcus, activate. I'll handle this. Yeah. I mean, seriously. He is constantly taunting Machias. Who clearly has a reason to just like no. Is Machias being a dick too? Yes, absolutely. My turn. But two wrongs don't make a right. Leave it to me. Uh... Yeah. Together, we're unbeatable. Clearly up the stairs is where I need to go. Yes. Bug! <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, a treasure chest. Yes, I see it. Up over here. Save point. Another cutscene. Uh, hey, are we? Looks like we are. That definitely seems to be the exit. I can see the sunlight streaming in, so I'm guessing we're finally clear. Ugh, this was a complete waste of time. Pointless busy work at best. Considering the school's esteemed founder, I was expecting more of a challenge, but nothing here posed even a modest threat. Did we even fight the same enemies? I feel like I've been stretched to my limits. What was all that business about Class 7 anyway? Good question. We've got people here from different backgrounds, classes, even cultures. Is there some sort of secret agenda with this whole Class 7 thing that we just don't know yet? We have a boss! What was that? There! There's a gargoyle! A gargoyle come to life? What sorcery is this? <laughs> Are monsters like this common in the Empire? This is clearly an amalgamation. Not of outside something. of old wives' tales, they aren't. <laughs> This thing's cutting off our only route to the surface. No choice. We have to fight it. Right. Finally, an opponent worthy of my skill. Hey, Idios, help us. This might actually be a challenge. Good. Here we go. First things first, motivate. All right, let's, let's do this. I'll handle yeah. this. My turn. <laughs> My I turn. Think it I think that tickled him. Nice work. Give it up, everyone. It's my turn. Blip. 
Very well. Feel like I can activate. Huh. I did a little more right. damage. Water, maybe? Uh. Leave it to me. Turn. Arcus, activate. I'll handle this. Ha. Resist stone, of course. Leave it, it to me. Very well. Uh, My turn. Do you like Arcus, fire? Activate. Ha. You don't seem ha. to resist it. So. Oh, you dick! Dick! I suppose I should thank you. All right. Here we go. But it seems to be more susceptible to damage now. There. My turn. It's my turn. I better move. Here we go. There. My turn. Arcus, activate. I suppose I should thank you. All right. Uh, yeah. I didn't do much. He was My turn. He's resisting art. My turn. Orbital damage is all you <laughs> shit to him. It's my turn. There. Go. There. That's definitely being affected. So craps seem to be the way to go. <laughs> right. Give it up, everyone. All right. It's almost down. Impossible. Go. Item. Ha! Get your ass up. I suppose I should thank you. It'd be appreciated. <laughs> Good God, this thing is strong. Go.
<laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Keep it up, everyone. It's my turn. I'll handle this. Okay, let's see. Level 5 has a lot of HP, but it's almost down. I'll handle this. Huh. My turn. It's my turn. There. Huh. Critical damage. You rock, Elliot. Is everybody okay? Oh, we're still alive. I did it! Level All up. right! Blue lullaby. Ooh, nice. You're still kicking? Hell, that should be the end of it. No, it's down, but not out. Oh. That's one hell of a second win. I can appreciate a certain degree of tenacity, but this thing needs to just die. It's no use. We're too spent to go another round with it. Guess I have no choice. I'll have to. Stand back! Uh, it's Alessia. Yeah. Emma. Hi! Y you made it! You certainly got some good timing. Oh, seems like you're all okay, at least. I'm sorry we took so long. You're here, and that's what counts. So, a gargoyle, is it? I didn't expect to find the Dark Ages alive and well down here. It doesn't seem like it'll go down easily. Indeed. It's brushing us off as though we barely even scratched it. But with this many of us, if we can just find an opening? Fine. I guess I'll help out. Fee. Looks like you started the, the party Kais. without me. Nice. You. Releasing limiter. Take this! Break shot! An opening! Go! the end of it. At the very least, that creature doesn't seem like he'll be coming back for a rematch anytime soon. Considering it disappeared into the ether? Yeah, I believe so. What happened there anyway? Right at the end of the battle... Now that you mention it, I did feel something wash over me for just a second there. It was like each of us were engulfed in some faint blue light. What? I did notice something as we fought. Perhaps it was just the blur of combat. 
but I felt like I could see everyone's movements in precise detail. I don't think it was just your imagination. Agreed. I have a feeling what we just experienced was... The biggest selling point of the almighty Arcus? Give this man a prize. Hello, Sarah. Uh. Looks like friendship and teamwork saved the day once again. I'm so proud of you guys. Anyway, that about finishes up today's special orienteering exercise. Aw, what's with the long faces? I thought you'd all be happy. What, what are we supposed to be happy about? I have so many questions, I'm not even sure where to start. Oh? I'll take a stab at it. What exactly is the purpose behind this Class 7? I mean, we get that it's supposed to be some sort of melting pot that includes a broad cross-section of people. But why were the nine of us chosen in particular? Hmm... That is a valid question. There's no single monolithic reason why you all made the list. But if I had to name a major contributing factor, it'd be those Arcus ornaments you've got there. How so? Well, like I explained earlier, the Arcus units are developed jointly by the Epstein Foundation and the Reinford Company. Like any battle ornament, they let you use arts, and these have communication functionality built right in. But their crowning feature is what's known as combat linking. That's the phenomenon you all experienced just now. So that's what that was. Seems like a pretty apt term. It did feel like we were all connected somehow. Precisely. Doesn't take a genius to imagine how much of an advantage a feature like that would be on a real battlefield. An elite unit that can sense each other's movements, acting in perfect sync even in the most chaotic conditions. You can hardly put a price on that! It could bring about a revolution in the way wars are fought. Hmm. It does sound rather... Idealistic. Well, yeah, the technology has its limits. Some have a natural aptitude for it, others just don't. And out of this year's fresh batch of bright-eyed students, the nine of you turned out to have the highest aptitude. And since aptitude trumps background in class seven, well, here you are. I see. But what gives us this aptitude though, as compared to our peers? It just seems so random. Kind of is. What indeed? As promised, if any of you have objections to being in this class, speak now or forever hold your peace. Hey, I'm cool with it. I think that pretty much covers the hows and whys of your situation. But this program isn't cheap to run, so we're not about to force anyone into it if they don't want to be here. Fair enough. Really? You should also be aware that Class 7's curriculum will be tougher than any other class's coursework. Just fair warning. So now you know. And that leaves you all with an important decision to make. Will you stick with Class 7? Or not? Oh, if you opt out! You'll just be placed in the class you would have been assigned to otherwise. There's no pressure. Nobles will land in class one or two, commoners in three, four, or five. It's still just the first day, so there's no real catching up you'd have to do. I'm sure you'd fit in just fine. I'll do it. Whatever class seven has to throw at me, I'm game. What? Just like that? Just like so that. So you're the first then. You seem pretty sure about it. Any particular reason? Not really. I just feel like I've put my family out asking them to send me to this school. So, if it gives me more to show for my time here, I'll take whatever opportunities come my way. Hmm, a noble sentiment.
Count me in as well. The greater the challenge, the more I can push myself to excel. One can't hone a blade without grit, after all. Let's make it three. I still think, uh, you, Laura, I really think you should be using a smaller blade. Do something more practical, but you know, whatever floats your Considering how far I came to attend this school, it'd be silly to back down before I even started. Well, looks like we've got the country's strongest freshman on board, and our foreign exchange student, too. Any more takers? Allow me to take part as well. I was only able to come because of the school's generosity, so I feel it's my duty to help in any way I can. S sign me up too! You need some more confidence, kid. I kind of feel like fate brought us here for a reason, you know? And you all seem pretty easy to get along with. And that's Mostly. a yes from our two Orville staff testers. Though I feel compelled to remind you, your weapons are still in the prototype stage. So on top of your other work, I'll be expecting reports from both of you. <laughs> of course. <sighs> Maybe I spoke too soon. Let me join too. Huh? Really? Oh, there's a surprise. I was almost certain your rebellious streak would see you opt out just on general principle. It does bother me that you've got us using these Arcus units that are still pretty clearly in development. But if I let every little nitpick like that hold me back, I'd never amount to much. <laughs> Words to live by right there. And that brings us to an even six. Now, what about you, Fee? Don't really care either way. You can choose. Not this time. This is one call you're going to have to make for yourself. That was the deal, remember? You need to take control of your own life. Ah, <sighs> fine, I'm in. Well, you seem indifferent. <sighs> well, at least you committed. We've got a magnificent seven now. But there's nine of us. Oh, no. Which leaves just the two of you. Oh, okay, that crowd rushed them too. <laughs> I can see you got issues with each other, but that doesn't mean you can't at least try to work together. Why, if you just look past your differences and embrace the joys of youth, I'm sure you'll become the best of friends. I can actually predict those two getting along. Like hell we will! The exploitation of the common people by the aristocracy is a blight on every facet of Erebonian life. Unless something is done about it, this country has no future. I appreciate your candor, but I don't think you're going to achieve much by lecturing me about it. Well, at least that makes this simple. I, Yusus Alborea, claim my place as a member of Class 7. Huh? Wh why You're the son of a duke! Just the thought of being in the same class as commoners should make you sick! I'll thank you not to tell me how I'm supposed to feel. As far as the House of Alborea is concerned, there's little difference between other nobles and commoners. Besides, this should at least ensure I won't have fools flitting about every day trying to win my favor. Ooh. <laughs> that said, I have little interest in getting drawn into your petty arguments on a daily basis either. I think it would be prudent for us to go our separate ways. I'm certain we can at least agree on this, no? I don't need some pompous ass who coasts through life on his father's coattails telling me what to do. I'm in. Come hell or high water. Well, you're determined. You might have had your successes spoon-fed to you up to now, but no outmoded class system is going to hand you trophies anymore. <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> They're going to be like this pretty much all year, aren't they? Sure seems that way. I wouldn't bet on them ever seeing eye to eye. Oh, are you two actually on speaking terms? Oh. <laughs> the pots shouldn't be too hard on the kettles. Give a guy a break. I mean, you fell on my- Well, hey, you're how the one about the that? You're the one that fell on me. You should be thanking me for cushioning your fall. With that, I'd like to congratulate all of you on being the first ever Class 7. I hope you keep those high spirits all year, 
Because with the workload we've got planned for you, you'll need it. <sighs> well, well, I wasn't expecting Class 7 to turn out quite as diverse as this. It certainly promises to be an interesting year. <laughs> you took the words right out of my mouth. But perhaps this too is the divine providence of the goddess, no? How do you mean? Seeing them there, I feel they have the potential to be the light we seek. A light that can break through the storm clouds that continue to build over our nation day by day. Am I getting the, this again, really? I'm seriously getting the intro again. Yes. Although it seems to have a slight difference this time. Or maybe I'm just crazy. There's those four, and the cinnamon bun. Check that cinnamon bun. This game is so weeb. I don't know who she is, but she's cute. So that is adorable right there. It's literally the same intro. We've already seen this. I can't even skip it. Or maybe I can. Yes, I can. I mean, there's no point in showing it twice. Uh, yes, save. Well, I'm going to end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Trails of Cold Steel as I continue. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph, signing off.